Hello everybody, SoCal Saber Bill Thornton here and tonight I bring you recap number four this week in Superstar Baseball. Six games were played today and I'll try to give you a, a rundown <coughs> of what went on. First two games were our last of our interleague play for a while until uh, later on in the schedule. But in the opener, Cy Young, the tough man, he uh, pitched a complete game for San Diego. And <clears throat> got support from George Sisler and Heine Manush, who each had two RBIs. Heine's came off of a home run, in the a two-run shot in the very first inning that got the Padres started. Texas eliminated... San, uh, or Texas was eliminated to two runs on a f in a 5-2 to two win for San Diego. San Diego, this is their 10th game, is now 7-3, and three, very respectable. Texas falls to 4-6. and six. They got some work to do. Okay, and then game two, this was a real pitcher's duel. Bob Feller was on the mound for Detroit, and he was, he was on in the rotation because Tom Glavin had been injured for uh, five games. And so this was Feller's first time to pitch for Glavin. And him, they got, yeah, all right, I'm going to get a loss there, okay? Detroit got a, a solo home run by Nomar Garcia Parra in the second inning to go up one and nothing over the Phillies. And that was the final score. Vita Blue and Bob Vita Blue for the Phillies and Bob Feller for the Detroit just pitched a wonderful game. They, uh, of course, uh, Blue got the loss and Feller the win and Mark Malenkin recorded the save. Tom Glavin is now back from injury and the decision has to be made. Put him back into the rotation, keep Feller in the rotation, take somebody else out of the rotation. We'll have to wait and see what the Detroit owner does. So the Phillies are now six and four, and Detroit is six and four. Uh, so they uh, still early in the season. The six and four records, six and four records are pretty good for that. That'll be an eighteen and twelve season. That's a pretty good season in this league. So that was uh, the end of interleague for a while, and then the focus moved over to the American League for Game Eleven with the Yankees facing Seattle. Well, the Yankees got the power bats going. They got home runs from Jimmy Fox, Huey Jennings, and Frankie Frisch. <clears throat> to get a 5-3 win over Seattle. <clears throat> the uh, Mariners got home runs from Eddie Matthews and Carlos Delgado had a pinch hit home run. Uh, that was Delgado's third pinch hit home run in his career in our superstar baseball seasons. So the Yankees were going to miss their starting shortstop, Huey Jennings, who hit a home run in the game because he got injured and he's going to be out for two games. So the Yankees, uh, they're, on a, they're on a little bit of an upswing right now and they're at five and six. Seattle still with, for trying to figure things out, three and eight down there in those the bottom I got some teams like that too all right so then we went over to Boston Boston was facing the Baltimore Orioles who started the season six and oh well Boston got a the second complete game shutout of Al Spaulding's career and Stan Musial helped them out with a three-run homer to pace Boston to a six to nothing win over Baltimore. Baltimore with that 6-0 start have now lost four of their last five games. Boston is up to 6-5. Baltimore is 7-4. Right just now ahead. Boston's been making up steady ground with these losses there. All right, so then uh, we're going over to the National League for a couple of games. We went out to St. Louis as they were hosting the Philadelphia Phillies. Yeah, the Phillies played two games today, but one was on game 10 on the schedule and one was on game 11 on the schedule. This was game 11 on the schedule. But 
this was with game 11. Both teams had their number one starters on the mound, and Christy Matherson prevailed. And Christy got the, uh, he pitched a wonderful game and got the win. Rube Waddell got the loss. Steve Howe recorded a save. Okay, and, uh, but they took a couple injuries. The Phillies took an injury uh, during the game, that is, it was for a game only with Ted Williams. St. Louis got a game only injury to. Gary Sheffield, so they'll both be back for their teams for game number 12. No problem with that. And the last was a sister teams matchup against two teams that I own, Pittsburgh and Atlanta, in Atlanta. Uh, in the final, Atlanta, Atlanta hit out hit Pittsburgh 12 to 5, but they just couldn't put them back to get, get them, put them when they needed them, and the Braves continued their hard times, losing to the Pirates 3 to 2. Bill Terry and Buddy Meyer went yard for Pittsburgh. Well, Pittsburgh got a little bit of, or Atlanta will get a little bit of a gain because their uh, two of their top left-handed hitters, Wade Boggs and Roger Maris, are returning from injury and will be available for game uh, number 12. So more moves have to be made on that team to make room for them. And uh, Pittsburgh's now seven and four. That's pretty respectable. And Atlanta three and eight, just like Seattle. What is going to, what am I going to do with that? They are the defending champions. Well, folks, you know, I hope you've liked this. Go down there and hit the like button. Subscribe if you haven't done so yet and push it out in your social media channels. You know, I uh, uh, do this because I we, we have enough followers that uh, are watching it. I'll continue putting this recap out every week. If you want us to see us play a game, let us know. We'll record a game for you. Uh, if you'd like to be part of our league, let us know. Hit me up on my email, w.thornton, T-H-O-R-N-T-O-N-5, at verizon.net, and we'll work something out. And also, if you'd like a copy of our league rules that we've developed over many seasons and years now, send me an email. If you do send me an email, make sure you put Superstar Baseball in the subject line there, because if I don't recognize it, I might, I might delete it. So again, thank you for stopping by. This is SoCal Sabre saying... Take care of yourselves, be kind to each other, and stay safe.